It's Leon Blay. Or Haley Bray. Tired 10. The 10 is tired. Those were the words of my friend Paul, who pastors a church in Nairobi, Kenya. Since 2015, the congregation has worshipped in a tent-like structure. Now Paul writes, our tent is worn out and is leaking when it rains. My friend's words about their tent's structural weaknesses reminded us of the Apostle Paul's words, granting the frailty of our human existence. Outwardly, we are wasting away. While we are in this tent, we groan and are burdened. 2 Corinthians 4, 16, 5, 4. Though the awareness of our fragile human existence happens relatively early in life, we become more conscientious of it as we age. Indeed, the time picks our pockets. The vitality of youth surrenders reluctantly to the reality of age. See Ecclesiastes 12, 1 through 7. Our bodies are tense, getting tired, but tired tense need not <clears throat> equate to tired trust, hope, and heart needn't fade as we age. Therefore, we do not lose heart, the apostle says. 2 Corinthians 4 and 16. The one who has made our bodies has made himself at home there through his spirit. And when this body can no longer serve us, we'll have a dwelling not subject to breaks and aches. We'll have a building from God, an eternal house in heaven. Well, how does it make you feel that in the midst of declining health, Christ still resides in you by spirit? When you're, when you find yourself growing, how often do you turn to God in prayer? Father, thank you for your continual presence. When I'm physically uncomfortable, help me trust you, even as I anticipate an eternal dwelling that will last forever. <clears throat> By Arthur Jackson, May 3rd, 2023. I'm Leon Black. This is our daily break. Have a blessed day.